We're live? Hey, we're live. Hold it down. They may not hold it down. Hey, this is Brooke Drum from Printabot.com, and we are live at Printabot Live on Facebook, and we'll post this on YouTube as well. Uh, maybe even Vimeo. Dave, is that what we do? Awesome. So, uh, we're in a new location today. We are out in the shop in the uh, corner I like to call my junk pile. But we moved some stuff, and this is a preview, very basic preview, of what we're doing at Maker Faire. So, yes, we will be at Maker Faire. So, if you are there, please come by our booth and say hello. All I can tell you is that we're a corner booth, and it'll say printer bot. Can you see the printer bot in the shot, Dave? Is the printer bot in the shot? No, it's no big deal. Above me is the word printer bot. <laughs> so, anyway, we'd love to... We'd love to meet you, so come on by the booth. Now, I just want to walk you through the booth real quick. Here it is. End of tour. <laughs> but uh, really, we wanted to uh, give as much foot traffic as we can because in the past, we've tried to do too much at Maker Faire, and I am not making that mistake this time. We have two things we want people to know about, and that, I'll start in price range, is the smalls. The smalls is $2.98. We've got upgrades and stuff. So feel free to spend as much money as you like, but we are going to sell the smalls. And we'll have uh, pre-built smalls on show. No, we will not sell them unless you offer me a lot of money for them. And uh, then we will. Uh, but these are just to show you that it does print and it does a good job. And so we want to show off the smalls. This is a kit, and you can see it's unfinished. So we're hoping people uh, download all of the plans. They're all open sourced online on uh, Fusion 360 is what we drew them with and you can get those on a360 there's a link on our product page uh, people are asking where do I get the files where do I get the files well we did post I say we I'll give Dave all the credit was it you Dave did you post these files thank you Dave uh, we posted on you imagine anywhere else not yet. not yet so they are on you imagine uh, we like open source stuff and so you imagine is there we like to use it so uh, those files for just the printable files um, are online if you just want to try to make your own. Now, uh, you'll need a water jet cutter, a bunch of aluminum. Uh, the hard stuff you can buy from us, um, but there are some printed stuff that you'll want. If you buy one of these, you'll want to print yourself. So you can get the files on Umagine. But I challenge you to download Fusion 360. Open that model, you'll have to download it from A360, and it downloads as a Fusion archive. I forget what the file extension is, but you can just suck that whole model in, and then you can identify what, uh, like right click on the file, is that you can modify it, you can uh, change it if you like, and so download Fusion 360 and do it the right way, all right? But anyway, so we, we have posted these files um, online, and we're showing them off at Maker Faire as a working unit. We will have some kits for sale. So, and I don't know, are we keeping the same price, Dave? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you should come by and get a few bucks off. Not a lot of bucks, but a few bucks off the uh, Smalls kit. And it is small enough to walk away with. Check it out. So here is the Smalls kit. Everything that you need right there to build your printer, 300 bucks. I wonder how much this weighs. Do we know? I think it's listed 13 pounds. Okay, so this is 13 pounds of awesome in a plain brown wrapper. So we usually ship these uh, via USPS, and that way the box is for free, and we can ship it, ship it through them um, to the U.S. So you can just order one online and, and it'll get to you, but it, it'll look a little different. This is uh, for Maker Faire since we won't be shipping them USPS. We didn't want to put them in that box. So uh, we'll have some of these. Uh, how many are we taking, Dave? Do you know? 30. We're only taking 30. So if you want one of these, come early and uh, pick one up. And no, we will not hold it for you. If it's in our booth, I might sell it twice. So I don't want to do that. So come by, grab this, run it out to your car or whatever. Uh, or come at the end of the day if there's any left and grab it yourself. So that's the smalls. So we'll have 30 of those. Awesome job, guys. Um, let me just pause for a moment uh, to say happy anniversary to my wife. 
Uh, I've been gone for the last, few, what, two days. And uh, we went to the U2 concert in uh, the Bay Area. So I've been away, and all of my faithful workers have been here preparing for Maker Faire. So thank you to them. But thank you to my wife for 25 years of awesome. And it's not all awesome. Some of it's been very bad, but uh, mostly due to me. But anyway, uh, so I've been away, and now I'm back and ready to go to Maker Faire, and I can't wait to see you. So we're showing the smalls. That's one thing. And I know that in the past when we've been at Maker Faire, uh, it's always, you know, when you buy something there, you've got to lug it around. So we only wanted to take a couple of models. And the other thing that we've brought to show off and sell is a few of, I'm going to put this on the floor because I've got to make room. We're going to have a few of our pros. Now, um, this comes in a box that looks like this right here. And I think we're actually going to uh, take some uh, belt. I like to make, uh, we're only going to have how many of these? Just a few. Five? Yep. We're going to have about five of these. And we'll fashion a totally ghetto handle for this. And uh, you can walk around like a suitcase uh, with this, but uh, we'll have a few of these. It comes in two parts. And when you open this up, you have to put together a couple of wires, plug those in, and four screws, and you're good to go for this printer. So it is fairly portable. Um, it is a bigger box, but we're not going to bring as many of those. So that's, uh, OK. But anyway, so we'll have uh, a few simple pros. We'll have some smalls. And we'll have us, me, Dave, and Jeremy. So I think the cool thing about Maker Faire is really the people. So if you didn't come ready to buy, that's totally all right. Come by and say hello. Um, we'd love to meet you. We'd lo we like to hear stories about the printer bots. We don't like to answer uh, customer support questions at all. Uh, I'm just kidding. But sometimes I had this one guy come, quick story, um, and he brought his kit, his Kickstarter kit to me. I think it was in London. Was it London? And uh, Ian was there, so it has to be London. So anyway, he, he brought his kit, and he says, hey, could you help me put this together at the show? And like an idiot, I did. So I stood there for hours with him, and we put that thing together in between talking to people. Don't do that. Uh, don't do that at all. But we just want to come and meet people. So if you're people, come on by. We'd love to meet you. So uh, Maker Faire is pretty low key uh, for me when all we really want to do is meet people. We'd love to sell some bots, but do come by. Maker Faire. So that's, this is our booth. We kind of constructed it in a pretty raw fashion. Uh, we're just going to have some shelves with prints and printers, and it's, it's low key. We're not trying to wow anybody. Um, I remember when I started going to shows right after the Kickstarter, and I would show up, and I would have like a folding table in the corner in the cheapest spot in the room, and in the center of the room was like this huge, huge booth that MakerBot always had. And they would set up scaffolding, and they had like all these people in their shirts, and everybody's decked out in uniform, and it was so impressive. But I can't tell you what that costs. We had a bigger booth last year, um, but we're, we're low-key this year. We just want to show up and meet people. So I hope to meet you at Maker Faire. So that's my Maker Faire spiel, all right? Now, uh, I always like to give you a little preview of stuff we've been working on. And I know I've shown uh, this, I think, briefly, um, but I wanted to talk about it just a little bit. So since I've been gone, I had one guy say, hey, I want the limited edition smalls. So I'm going to tell you the plan one more time. So the smalls is intended to be A, smalls, and B, cheap, and C, a kit. But I'm going to break two of those three with the limited edition linear smalls. And this is what it looks like. So we took the model. We pulled out all the round bar and the LM8 UU bearings, the 8 millimeter ba bearings, and we replaced all of those with very expensive uh, linear rail. And the nice thing about that is if you're willing to spend a little more money, well, first off, you're going to get ridiculous uh, rigidity. And so you, you don't have all of those plates holding the bearings together that can have just a little bit of, like, it's funny how people test printers sometimes. They walk up and they grab the end and they start pulling it around. And they, this, isn't, this isn't rigid. Well, that doesn't happen while you're printing, OK? So it can be uh, just the round rod and work fine. But there's something about having this feel like a brick. It feels like it's made out of concrete. This is really, really, really rigid. 
And it's because these linear rail are really more precise. And we don't have to use as many plates. So we've only got one plate here that holds together both the Z and the Y. Um, this, this plate on the outside isn't totally needed, but it's what we uh, bolt the linear rail to. You can see the screw holes along here. And those two things combined really make it rigid, and it gives us something to mount other things off of. Um, so it looks a lot like the smalls, but the telltale sign is, are these linear rails. So what's the price? I have no idea, so I can't tell you yet, but it's more. And I want to say a lot more, just because I want to set expectations realistically, and maybe I'll surprise you, and you'll be happy. Uh, but maybe I won't. <laughs> so anyway, it has a, this, this bed, um, Steve, who was designing this, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd done previous designs of this, but it wasn't totally finished. So he took the base model, and we, we grafted in all of the linear rails. It even has linear rail on the bottom. Um, so it just is so much neater, uh, so much more clean of a package. But we had all of this uh, linear rail in, in uh, pre-cut lengths, and it is going to cost me to cut these shorter. But the point of this printer is it's the one that I wanted, and I wanted it to be small enough to easily travel with. So while we could have made it really tall, it increases the price. And mainly, I don't want to lug around a big printer. It's smalls because it's small. So uh, this is actually, man, I wish Steve was here. I think this one is either 55, five, I think it's 555. Five, five. It might be 666, but I don't, I don't actually remember. But anyway, so it's a little bit different than the base smalls. It's a little bigger. Um, but it is, I know, no more than six on this axis. So anyway, obviously I'm thin on details. Uh, but the point is, it's more rigid. And one other thing is this, uh, this block, which may end up being two blocks. Uh, I don't know if we've decided on that yet. But this is machined. So all of the blocks are machined. So it's kind of like the, the uh, precision upgrade for the smalls, you get all your parts that connect the mechanics of the movement done in machine parts. And so these are fewer parts, very rigid, awesome little printer. The idea is this. I'm only going to make a few of these. And they're going to be white powder, powder coated. Um, I'm hoping to put some accent panels on here for a little color snap, maybe in wood, maybe bamboo. I'm not sure yet. Um, but it's going to look very, very nice. It'll have probably just a vinyl sticker, but it'll have a PrinterBot logo on it, and I'm going to build them. So I'm not going to sell a bunch of these and expect to ship them right away. I'll probably only build a couple a week. And so if you're on order, the wait time um, might increase. But we'll try to get this live next week. Um, we're too busy right now getting the truck loaded up and stuff. So uh, this isn't going to happen this week. But next week, um, we'll put this on sale, see if anybody wants it. If nothing else, I'll have a really nice printer, and you won't. So, well, okay, if you buy one of our other ones, they're nice too. But anyway, this is uh, the one that I wanted, so it's the one I'm building as the, building as the limited edition. So that, I may even throw this in to show it off at the booth. Why not? It's pretty small. So anyway, that's uh, that. Oh, there's the other one. I wonder if this is the one. Nope, there's another one. Man, those look nice. So that's the smalls, linear, limited edition. All right, Dave. So I told them about Maker Faire, told them about the linear smalls. What do you got? Okay, so you're going to have to fill me in. I said uh, as I left, um, hey, we ought to do just the metal parts. There are people uh, saying like, hey, I got parts. I mean, these are obviously, uh, you guys are, are builders. Uh, if you're watching this channel, you're a total 3D printing nerd. And so uh, if you're following this, you probably have built other printers. The smalls will, for some, be uh, just the third or fourth or seventh or twelfth printer. And you've got parts laying around, so you're like, well, you've made it easy with the printed parts, but uh, what about just selling the ultimate bare bones kit that I just take the stuff that you build in metal with your water jet and the bender, you know, the, what's it called? The press brake. Um, so... Do you have a price on that? So that's going to be 125. And let me say that it's not much more than the metal itself. Um, what else is in that kit, Dave? So there's uh, screws and yeah, a few uh, a few bolts and a couple of nuts. But 
some rubber feet. So it's the obscure stuff, like the Plastite uh, screws. They're not hard to get, but when you buy them, you got to buy a whole bunch. So um, we have exactly the right hardware. For you to source that, you'd have to buy 100 of everything, at least, and it would be more money for you. So we thought, well, let's throw in the hardware. So you'll get metal, hardware. Yeah, the green probe. OK, the, the probe on the front here. Um, this is. Uh, I chose to use this because A, I had a bunch laying around, and B, it mounts nice to a flat surface, so it's really the right one to use, and you don't have that double wrench thing happening to get it adjusted. So uh, this is really nice. We'll throw that in. Anything else? No. That's pretty much it. Okay. Right. So the the idea is if you are um, a guy that has a pile of parts, you can pull from those, and then the things that you are missing, you can easily source, whether it's on our site, and I don't even know if all the parts are for sale. I mean, we could throw up bars and stuff, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you guys, uh, you know, uh, demand that I sell more stuff, but really, uh, it's just like, a, you know, any product. We don't, we, it doesn't make any sense to make a kit a bare bones kit so cheap that if you just buy everything online at the lowest cost, it actually saves money. Well, that's going to be impossible with this kit anyway, really. Um, but if you do have stuff laying around you've already invested in, we'd love to help you get to a full working kit. So that's our effort to do that. And you know, the the um, the requests sometimes come fast and furious, and people are like, "Yeah, but I want a bare bones plus three fifths motors and like one half of an extruder." No, we got to keep it simple. So it's just going to be what I described and nothing more. Um, that's one more option uh, for the smalls. Again, we're really trying to make it easy without making it hard for us. Easy for you is good, but we like easy too. So anyway, that's uh, our plans with the bare bones. No questions, uh... If you got a question, uh, get it in now. It's uh, yeah, we're about ten minutes short of our pre-lotted 30 minute time. So if you've got a question, fire it in. If not, I'll make up something. I'll be here waiting. Hey, if you're a girl with a lot of printers, you're even cooler than the guys because, man, 90 plus percent of our customers are guys. But boy, do I love to see the women represent, and the ladies and the girls. I've even met, uh, there's this one girl, I forget his name. I think his name is Tim. His daughter was in grade school when she started with RepRap, and she's been recognized in the community. And uh, she's going on to make 3D printing a part of her, or her life. So I love it when um, any kid starts small, but it's sure encouraging to see uh, more and more women get into uh, the, uh, you know, become enthusiasts with 3D printing. So that's awesome. So no. Offense intended. Uh, are spacers needed for the X axis upgrade? Are spacers needed for the X axis upgrade on the smalls? I believe you guys Let me see here. The X axis upgrade. Are spacers needed? No. So the uh, X axis upgrade is basically um, what amounts to a play bed with some new holes drilled in it. It uses the same um, bar ends, which, you know, space the, uh, you, you've got a little room in here, and it all works with the same equipment, so uh, at least the, the ball bearing, or the linear bearings here, the, the round element you use. Um, you print a new, I don't even know if it's new, it's the same one. You just will already have that, so I think everything is going to work just the same. It's basically a longer belt and the bed. I think it's the same screws, too. So, uh, no, no spacer. That's uh, one with both our X and Z upgrade. Pretty cool. So, no, but good question. All right, man. Well, we're going to see you at Maker Fair. Uh, let's see. We will do another show next week. I'll be more prepared. Uh, but, hey. It's been cool to show you around our booth. If you can't make it, um, that's what it is, not a big deal. But the real fun is being here in person or being there in person, um, seeing all the stuff that Maker Faire has to offer and meeting us and some of the other cool people that, that run other companies. We like to do the same. 
So if you're there, come by and say hi. If not, um, go by our website, buy something. That would be awesome. <laughs> but uh, until then, I bid you good week. Happy printing. <laughs>